Hey, what's up? It's Sugar from Sound Candy Studio. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to get multiple instruments into your DAW, and in this case, I am using PreSonus Studio One, but we're only going to use one instance of Contact. So, if you want to know how to do that, stay tuned. Okay, so let's do it. Right, so let's uh, start by going to Browse, going to Instruments, grab in a in single instance of Contact. Uh, now, as I said at the beginning, what we want to do is we want to have one single instance of Contact, but multiple instruments playing from that one single instrument. Uh, so what we're going to do is we've created our single instance of Contact. Let's go and grab some instruments. Uh, so randomly, I'll let's just see if I can pick. Uh, I'll pick uh, Alicia Keys as one of them. Let's do that. Let's do something else. Let's do this one here. What's this Canterbury suitcase? Let's do that. Uh, and for our final one, let's do something else. Let's do. I don't know. Let's. Uh, what should we do? Uh, okay, let's do some bass. We'll do this. Uh, we'll do this palm muted bass. Okay, so they are all loaded in. Uh, so we have three instruments loaded in. We have the Scaby Bass, and we have the Canterbury Suitcase, and we have Alicia Keys, and they are all currently in this one tiny little holder. Let's now go and create a couple more instances of the contact instrument. Uh, so not the actual plugin itself, just the instrument. So we're going to hit a right click. So I'm on a mouse. Uh, so I'm, I'm on a Mac. Uh, so we're going to right click and add an instrument track and we'll do it one more time because we have three instruments and we want to do them all. Uh, so on the first one, it's already mapped to contact and it says channel one. We'll just drop down here and we will go to uh, contacts again. But this time we will map this one to channel two. And again, on the third one, we will select contact and we will map this one to channel three. And uh, so just for neatness, uh, we'll call this one keys. Uh, the second one we'll call suitcase. Uh, and the final one, we should just name that base. Okay, so in theory, in theory, this should work. Our MIDI keyboard is connected. We can see all the lights are on. Uh, we've got one instance of uh, Native Instruments contact, and we are going to have three instruments. Let's try the keyboard now. There we go. So that's the first one. Let's try the suitcase. That's that, and let's try the bass. And that is how you do it. Uh, incidentally, if you wanted, to, these are currently, currently all mapped to outputs one and two, which is my main output down here. Uh, but if we wanted to map them to five and six, seven and eight, nine and blah, 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 we could simply go up here and map the outputs to individual outputs. So we could do that if we wanted to. I don't want to. Uh, that's why I've done it this way. And incidentally, if we want to, there is a little tiny icon here. We could go in, we could have gone in and mapped these to the individual uh, MIDI channels, but we don't need to do that in Presona Studio One because it has already allowed me to do that here. Uh, so that is how you do it. You have simply one instance of Native Instruments contact and three instruments down the side here. Now, if somebody knows how far we can push this, uh, could we have 10, 15, 20 instruments? Let me know. I haven't tried it. I'm guessing it depends on your CPU and your DSP. Uh, so perhaps somebody could let me know who's, who has tried it. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, generally, I probably don't use more than, uh, let's say, nine, 10 instruments at any one point. Uh, but it's an interesting thing and perhaps I should try that. Perhaps I should have tried it before I did this video, but <laughs> here we are. Anyway, that's it for today. I will see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.